You know, Andrew, on every Ryder Cup course, there's always a couple of holes that we remember best of all at the end of the week. Like, for example, the 10th at the Belfry, scene of some fantastic drama. And you get the feeling that the 14th here at Glen Eagles could be one of those. Yeah, very much. It's a, very much a, a risk and reward hole. 320 yard par four. Um, gives you a great option uh, if you're a short hitter to lay up down the left side. Leave yourself that magic number for the approach shot so you feel comfortable taking it close. For the longer hitters, you can really have a go at it. So making sure that you, you carry that bunker front left of the green at about 280 yards, uh, and it gives you a chance to, to get on the green in one. And of course, in the four balls, where partnership is absolutely crucial, one partner goes short of the green, as you say, the other, the big hitter, potentially has a proper shy at that green. It seems a long way from here, I must say. Well, it is. It, it's going to be an exceptionally good shot, um, but certainly the hole gives you that flexibility to, to sort of implement that strategy in the, in the hole. It's a great setting, isn't it? With the hills just behind Creef now showing themselves here, I get the feeling that the 14th is going to be a great hole.